I came across this tweet claiming that you could get results at least as good as Pi0 using ICT with bounding boxes. Good news is Phospho just released BBICT, an ICT model enhanced with bounding boxes. Let's try it out. I just recorded a data set of around 30 episodes uh, using the Phospho MetaQuest app, available on the Meta Store, by the way. And now I can just copy paste this data set onto here. So how does BBICT works? Basically, it's an ACT model enhanced with bounding boxes in order to considerably improve its quality. So you have the usual uh, parameters, batch size, steps, plus two more. The first one is target detection instruction. So it's basically, you need to describe the object you want to pick up with a robot. So here it's a pink ball. And then you need to select your image key. So it should correspond to your context camera in order for the model to detect the object. So here it's main, but depending on your data set recording configuration, it could change. So I advise you to check this out. So now I can save these parameters and I can start the training. I'm going to get a coffee and I'll be back in around 15 minutes when the training is over. 15 minutes later. Training is completed and I'm now in the AI control section of the dashboard. Before doing anything else, I plugged my robot and camera into my computer and made sure I'm using the same setup as for the recording. This is actually very important for the model to work. Then I can copy my AI model from plugin face and paste it here. I also need to make sure I'm using the correct camera before running inference. So here it should be camera one because it's a context camera. Otherwise the model won't be able to detect the bounded boxes and it just won't work. Finally, I need to input the same instructions as for the training. So here it should be pink ball, remember? And then I'm all set and I can just start AI control. 